Hello, I'm Brad from the RK, and today I'm going to be doing um, a quick tech tutorial. Um, so basically, this is going to be a simple setup for your house. So all you do, you come back from mining, you put in your ores in there, um, then they will come along this pipe into the macerator, get macerated, put into the furnace, get smelted, and they'll come out as ingots. So I went over that really quick. I'm going to go into a lot more detail. So basically, you put in however many ing uh, ore you have there, and it will double it in ingots over here. So say I put in two ore, I'll get four ingots. Simple. Um, it's pretty cool. And then rubber wood, you just put your rubber wood in this chest or your saplings or your sticky resin. And that'll come up here to the extractor and just extract the rubber so you can use it for cables. I've already got some in there, I'll take that out. So I'm going to go over that now but to start with we need to have our energy to power all these machines. So we're going to use solar panels. Uh, I like solar panels they get quite a lot of energy to be honest um, they're not that expensive to make, they are quite a bit so I don't know, I do strongly recommend them uh, so I've got 10 going along here 10 going along the top, 10 going along here one either end, so that's 32 solar panels and then that's got glass fibre cables going along them um, that is, itself is actually quite expensive because they do require a diamond to make but to be honest it is actually worth it um, if you can afford it spare a few diamonds maybe I would definitely do that so that's just coming down here so our energy comes from the sun solar panels take that energy put it along this glass fiber cable and it comes to our storage unit which is full and this is an MFE now an MFE is just a way of storing energy so any way you get energy whether it's like a wind turbine a water mill, solar panels, geothermal generator, you can all store it in here and use it for your machines later on. Or if you put something in the top slot you can charge it like an electric hoe, electric wrench, jetpack, things like that. So we're going to use that to power our machines. Now we need to convert this into a lower voltage because as you can see there its output is 128. You don't need to worry about the units, just, just think it's 128 units but I think only our machines can power, uh, can run, sorry, at about 32. I think that's right. Uh, it may be different though, to be honest. So we need to just get it a little bit lower so our machines don't explode <laughs> like mine did. Um, I found out the hard way. So we're going to need some two times um, insulated gold cable. And that's just crafted by. Um, getting gold cable and then putting some rubber and then putting some more rubber on it um, I can't actually find any in here um, oh well I haven't got it on uh, full screen so I can't do the item search but anyway it's pretty pretty cheap to make to be fair you don't even need them you can put this um, right next to it and it will still work you don't actually need the cables but I like the look of it okay now we've got here is a low voltage transformer, an LV transformer, and that will just transform it to a uh, lower voltage. In real life, it's called a step down transformer, I think they use it in the national grid here in the UK. Um, and then you can just use normal insulated copper cables to go directly into these machines. Make sure they don't go into the top or the front. I wouldn't recommend that, I'd recommend putting it in the sides like I've done here, these both going into the sides and I'll explain that now uh, in a minute so here we go, that's all that bit explained it's pretty simple from now on so here's the ore chest where you put things in now this um, you just want the ores to be pumped out of it really so you just get a, a redstone engine and it's going red but that doesn't really matter, it can't explode, it's redstone, it's fine if it was a combustion engine and it was going red then I would run because that would explode but we're fine uh, they're relatively cheap to make and then you can just put a lever by it and you have to have a wooden pipe now a wooden pipe means you can take things out so we want to take things out of the chest so we put a wooden pipe down to power the wooden pipe we need a redstone engine and then that's just going to pump it out just get some normal cobble trans cobblestone transport pipes and run that into the top so if I just put my iron ore in there you can see it's travelling along here quite slowly um, 
if you want to make it go fast you need gold transport points but I'm just going to keep it simple so this is going to come up here and it's going to go into the macerator so what the macerator will do is for every ore it will give me two dust and then um, if you smelt one dust you'll get one ore so basically it's doubling the amount I'll get so here we go here is my one ore for this I will get two dust if I smelt that I'll get two ingots so from one ore I've got two ingots so that's just going to take its time um, so once we've that's been macerated we want to take it into the electric furnace so we can smelt it and get our ingots so if we want to take something out we're going to use a wooden pipe and again we'll just power that with a redstone engine and a lever now go again up some uh, cobblestone transport pipes and into the top of our furnace and it has to be an electric one I think it doesn't really work because it needs to be powered by electricity if you choose an iron furnace so there we go that's going to go in there that's going to get smelted and we want to take it out of the furnace and put it into our chest so we just have a wooden transport pipe and a redstone engine and a cobble pipe and that's going to take it into our chest and bam that's half of it done already and then th the rest of it is just really simple and you can see the ingot there <coughs> excuse me now this one works go as this one went from right to left this one goes from um, left to right but it could have gone the other way you know it's just design you can change it up how you want so in this one you just put some rubber wood in this chest and that rubber wood is you have a wooden pipe there and a written engine and then that's going to go up here into the top of the extractor and it's going to extract the rubber from the rubber wood then we've got a wooden pipe here that's powered by the redstone engine and then that's just going to pump it here and bam we've got rubber so that is a very basic setup it looks complicated but it's extremely easy this didn't really take me long to make at all but uh, obviously in survival to get all the materials it would take quite a bit of time especially with the diamonds and that but yeah definitely worth doing um, you can just go mining come up dump yours in there go back down and when you come up you'll just have a chest full of ingots um, and that's about it so thanks for watching please leave a like and a favourite and I'll probably do some more ticket tutorials as well as ticket gameplay which will be coming hopefully every Sunday maybe more frequently than that so yes I will see you later goodbye